Romance or hello, Guiding Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. Let's find out what's coming in for you in Eclipse season in December. What's coming in for you guys, Eclipse season in December from a Cancer Friends. We have a Grand Symphony. Wow. So something coming to culmination and you seeing the rewards of it. The Grand Symphony. Let's read this card, shall we? Card number 27. As human beings, we have a tendency to see ourselves as separate from others. This perception is the root of the cosmic joke played on us all. Although our five senses and intellect can help us manage our experiences in the material world, the intuition helps us navigate the invisible. We struggle. We still struggle with the issue of identity and how we fit in the whole. In the whole. You're facing a paradox this month. You need to focus on being your unique self, for only you can bring your own special harmony to the symphony of the world. But equally, you need to learn to be selfless and put we before me, seeing yourself as part of the consciousness that unifies us all. You are being invited to step back and see the bigger picture until you in until your individual part on the world stage disappears and blends with the glory of all life. It's true that who you are and what you do counts in far-reaching ways. Consider this, though. When you listen to music, it's the whole, not any single note or its own, that makes the song come alive. So today, ask yourself, can you be a part of something bigger? Can you put the principles and needs of the group above your own wants? Can you fully embrace the concept of unity in diversity by celebrating all the notes in the symphony? If so, then you will indeed be wise, and whatever you are dreaming about will be fully beyond your wildest hopes. It's time to do your part to sing in harmony with others, stay in tune, and learn the new harmonies and notes. Such sweetness will arise. It's beautiful. So it's about coming together with your tribe and about finding the trueness and what you're here to do, what you're here to create, and my friends, who you're here to be. Doing it for the we and not the eye. This is very Aquarian energy, I might add. Whoa! It's going to bring healing to you. Bless all in need of healing, hope, and love. Spirit, grant us strength and wisdom. Guide us to the path of wellness. Something about healing something within someone that you love. Perhaps it's healing the idea of what freedom is. Healing the idea that you can be alone and separate and understanding that we are all part of the greater whole. It's all about the great symphony that is life, not the moment that you struggle in. Well, it's about that too. I think it's about all in part and parcel. All right. Tell me more about a grand symphony, something that's coming together to benefit the masses. And you are part of it. Let's not forget that. Something's been an absolute battle. I think you've been very much in the energy of I, the me, the where do I fit, where am I valued, where am I in all of this. Yeah. And it's been something you've dealt with since you were a child, trying to feel valued, trying to have value. It's no longer about you trying to have these things. It's about you coming into absolute concert, might I say, with the fact that you are already valued. That you are already, you have this beautiful innate energy and you are already valued. Contracts coming about, contracts, wisdom, signatures, all that sort of thing. Understanding it's the coming together of the divine bringing you into a place of coming together of to bring balance to situations. There's something that's happening right now that you may feel an inward battle, a win to the end, but it's like you know it needs to happen, but at the same time, it's a yeah, you need to do what's of the greater good for all. More going on here than meets the eye. There's your energy. There's more going on. This is something at a soul level for you. It's all about the grand symphony. There's secrets. There's lies. There's something around the past and how you're romanticizing the past and how it used to be. And I would even has not hesitate to say, but there is a lot of anger involved in with this here on the left side about what you're contracted to do by the divine. 
brand new beginning, brand new life, brand new love, brand new home, brand new you. Someone could be leveling up in the love department or even in the job department. Something that you seem to have been blocked from for quite some time. Or you feel the need to defend yourself about what it is you want or how you've been standing ground for somebody against others. Something is going to happen at the full moon eclipse for you that you may want to feel like there's a new sheriff in town and defend yourself and what you've created and your beliefs. Defend a victory you've already had to others. Page of Swords. Challenging information or information coming in. Is someone watching you at work? Is someone watching you at home? There's something you're all up in your head about. That you're, you're afraid that you are going to be stabbed with the... Uh, I think you've been having troubles getting concrete, solid rest. And trying to figure out while everyone else is asleep or at night time exactly how to create a healing. Yeah, possibly with a Virgo or getting help from someone who is a wise sage. Creating a healing within... But you've got cold feet where this is concerned and all up in your head about how this is going to be fixed. Lots of things happening at once, trying to juggle too many things, trying to plan the way forward. But there's just like there's you can't even see a way forward through all the swords through the forest. Going into hermit mode, you've got cold feet about something bringing healing to a circumstance or situation. There's an Ace of Pentacles, something that wants to come in and offer the Divine's giving to you. Financial offer, a way to move forward. Perhaps they're giving you the opportunity to offer money to somebody or take care of something. Going inward and asking the Divine about it, that's for sure. But it's a huge opportunity and it could go the long haul. Brand new beginning. Yeah, it's a huge opportunity. I think you're juggling a lot. I think there's some healing you would like to have come. I think... <sighs> there's somebody that is a soulmate situation that you're looking on as it's better than it actually was. You viewed them as your forever person, but there was more going on behind the scenes and met the guy, and there's some sort of defensive energy about it. going inward in hermit mode there's an offer coming to you trying to heal over circumstances and situations in your life there's a brand new beginning coming something to do with a father possibly could be a grandfather could be money and a will could be a judge that's holding money up or a foundational energy i'm getting that someone very well may have passed and left you with some money but it comes with stipulations. I'm getting that someone tried to control the money and it's coming with stipulations. It's almost like a stipulation that you you give a certain amount to somebody or something. Look at this, soulmate energy. Father and mother, a new beginning. It could be your father and mother you're trying to heal something with. Wanting to give money, perhaps, to your father and mother. Or there's somebody that you feel is your divine counterpart. And you could do massive, beautiful things together. But there's been a, a lot of hurt and pain. And in coming back, there's a soul contract. It could be what you call your twin flame or whichever. I think you would like to create healing and have a new start with whomever this person is. Because you view them as so incredibly creative. I think you're very much in fear, however, as to whether you can create this healing or not. I think that's what you're in fear about. I really do. Tower moment. Yeah, there's a tower moment coming for somebody. I think it's going to blow someone's mind. Whoever the feminine energy is here, I think the divine is going to blow your mind at the healing that could occur if you stepped out of yourself and brought this about. Could there be a new start between two people that have not been together in forever? 
and this new start brings healing to your inner child. Because there is love here. Whatever it is, there's love here. I think there's lack of understanding as to why something fell apart anyway. That's what I'm getting. All right, so in the extended, you can hit the link below. We're going to find out what's crossing this understanding of it being a grand symphony and how you fit into the life and why you have the life you have. We're going to find out what's crossing this healing from coming forward. Also about what this tower moment is and what this new beginning is about. And then also we'll find out what the best next step forward is for you. All right, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic December. If this is where we part ways, you take care. And blessings to all of you.